Hi folks, Marty here, and today we're going to take a look at how to do a tree in the landscape. And um, we're going to put some sheep on it. So here was our sketch, and we're just putting on a bit of masking fluid just to preserve the whites. And then we're going to lay in a color of your yellow, yellow or orange, anything that's just going to make this sky look nice and warm. So how about we go with that sketch and uh, use your masking fluid if you need to. And then join me uh, for the painting session part, uh, which we're just doing now. And then we'll just let that uh, dry off. And then what we're doing is we're going to go into our yellow and a blue, and we're going to make up a nice light colored green. And this will do for the tops of the trees where the sun hits, hits them and makes them look and appear much lighter than the rest of the tree. And then we're just going to do some more of our blue. I'm going to drop in cobalt here, cobalt blue into that yellowy green mixture, just to give the impression of some shadow underneath those leaves. Just using a wee bit of spotter technique here just to give the impression of little loose leaves and so on and I'm getting to more darker cobalt blue What you can do here is you can drop in a drop of uh, French ultramarine blue just to give the uh, a nice dark almost olive color and feel free to stop the video at any place just to kind of mix up your colors and follow along I'm always observing where the sun is shining from and which part of the tree is going to be in shadow. Now we're going to move on to the tree trunk. What I'm doing is putting a drop of that green at the base and then it'll help it to look like um, almost like a mossy kind of effect. It'll have a subtle effect on the painting of the tree trunk, but uh, it makes a difference. And then I made up a brown color. And what you could do is just, uh, you could use your ultramarine blue and mix in a bit of brown with that. Nice and strong and nice and dark, and that'll be a good colour for the tree trunks and tree uh, branches. I'm just dragging out little branches here and there.
folks, if, if you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to see more of these, um, uh, do uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell just to be notified when new videos come out. At this stage here, I'm just mixing up a purpley colour using cobalt, blue and alizarin crimson. A nice light mixture just to help with those distant hills or mountains. That's a nice translucent colour this. Uh, I just had the sheep on in there as well because I can lift that out with a bit of tissue. I'm just using the base of the brush which is a, a sharp end that I've I've used a pencil sharpener on. Between that and the, the long hairs of the rigger it's great for plucking out little bits of branches and twigs and so on at the root of the tree. is just adding in a wee bit of uh, texture to the tree by using my rigger brush. And I am mixing up a, a yellowy green for the foreground. So I'm using yellow and a wee bit of uh, the cobalt blue. And I want to keep this nice and nice and fresh looking. And what I'll do is I'll add more cobalt into that, just to create variations. Do feel free to leave a comment. Um, I do read them all, and um, from time to time, um, um, sometimes I get requests. And if I can't do and I've had the time, I'll certainly do my best to cover certain aspects of painting. So I'm just dropping in a wee bit of shadow at this point. I ended up going over that uh, texture I put down earlier, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes you just gotta experiment a bit. If something's not working, or you decide to go a different um, different road. Just using a wee bit of dry brushwork here. So now that that's dried and I've taken the mask and flew it off, what I'm doing is I'm just softening up that hard edge where the mask and fluid uh, would have created a line on that shape. So I'm just using a damp brush for this. And I, I'm going into my yellow ochre. Just a light wash. And we're going to do this in a couple of stages. First of all, I want to start with the light hitting the top of the sheep, then get into like a, that uh, creamy woolly color, and then with the dark underneath. 
sheep are usually running around playing in mud and everything, so it does tend to be a bit kind of mottled looking. Gone a wee bit darker into that shape there. This day I'm using a pretty dark mix of uh, ultramarine blue and burnt umber. This is my favourite part of the painting. Just uh, we start dropping in the detail. I've often said that sometimes it's it's only takes ten minutes. It's only ten minutes away from just turning a painting into something that looks really decent. And it's just these wee touches that just really help the brand alive. for some wee birds just to add a wee bit of life to the scene the knife for the big reveal this part here is just always find this a, a bit of a treat it's like seeing your picture framed up or mounted for the first time. So there you go folks, there's our wee painting for today. And it's so easy to do and you can just um, create something that just looks lovely enough to hang on your wall. So have a wee go at that folks, until I see you next time, keep them brushes wet.